I've never seen a bullfight, but I've traveled extensively in Colombia and Mexico, where they're still practiced, I believe, to this day. Spain, I think, as well. Um, but I know that aficionados of bullfighting will tell you that it's not just some crazy blood sport where we decide to watch an animal getting pointlessly killed or whatever, and it's not savagery. Uh, it's life itself down there in the arena. That bull is going to die, and he's fighting for his next breath, and there's beauty in that. There's dignity in what he's doing. There's uh, value. Um, life is essentially that that we see down in the arena. Um, we're going to die, but courage, uh, determination, and even a blind refusal to accept our destiny um, in the face of overwhelming inevitability and necessity uh, has value, and that's what makes life worth living. Um, you know, that's one spin on it. Another spin is from one of my favorite guys from the 1960s, a fellow by the name of Phil Oaks, a protest singer, in his song Crucifixion. Um, he says, essentially, I guess he's saying, this is what bullfighting is. The Spanish bulls are beaten. The crowd is soon beguiled. The matador is beautiful. A symphony of style. Excitement is ecstatic. Passions places bets. Passion places bets. Gracefully he bows to ovations that he gets. But the hands that are applauding are slippery with sweat. And saliva is falling from their smiles. <laughs> I guess we know what he thinks of bullfighting. It's just pointless sadism, and it's disgusting, and it says terrible things uh, about us as human beings that we should actually pay to sit up here in the stands and, in the stands and watch this repulsive, sadistic spectacle take place down there in the arena. Okay, that's, I get, that seems to be the implication in what he's, in, in the lyrics of his song, Crucifixion. Um, well, this, I would say there's probably a bit of both in there. Um, <clears throat> and that taking sides in that way says more about your opinion of the human race than what the human race actually is, what people actually are. Uh, we can say that we're sadistic and it's disgusting that we are this way, but I don't even think that Phil Oakes is denying the fact that we are this way and that there's something inherent in us. The very fact that you're able to write songs that are disgusted by this means that you somehow understand why anyone would drool at the sight of a bull being slaughtered down there in the, in the arena. Something in us likes that. Um, something in us doesn't like that. Um, and the first instance where they're saying that bullfighting is not nice, maybe, but it's noble and it's beautiful, is saying that, yes, we're accepting what we are. Um, we're idealizing it, I guess, our dark side. Um, and in a certain way, I guess we're making excuses because we're using it as a big spectacle to enjoy. Um, in the second case, Phil Oaks is saying it's just a repulsive exercise in vile sadism because of us scumbag human beings like this sort of thing. But again, he doesn't say that the love of this kind of thing isn't inherent in us. It just seems to be that he's saying that this is repulsive that we like this. Either way, I think the implication is this is just the way that we are. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't recognize other people's drooling when they watch this. Um, we are what we are, and what value we put on that is up to us. Um, so, cat's driving me crazy. Um, oops. Um, so, Phil Oaks might say, we, this is the way we are, this is how vile humans are, but again, the implication is that we shouldn't be that way. Well, if we are what we are, to say that we shouldn't be that is a bit nuts. Because <laughs> when you say that this is the way we are and it's somehow immutable or inherent, how can you say that we shouldn't be this? That's like saying, again, a rock shouldn't be a rock. If we like certain things about ourselves and we despise certain things about ourselves, that doesn't alter the fact that these are aspects of ourselves. 
there's a lot in us, in our, in, in our character, uh, to disapprove of. But disapproval isn't the same thing as saying uh, evil, I guess.